Hello everybody, this is Ghost of Baron, welcome back. So I only basically I only just killed the two the two guys that do the frenzy here and I'm gonna try and do this. Oh he's coming. Coming. I don't know about the other guy. That doesn't really seem to be anything here. And the other giant is so far only up there. Oh. Okay, let's... Okay, let's try and bathe. Oh! Should be able to heal. That didn't work at all. No, no, what? Oh, great. Okay, so... This is probably not a good idea. Oh boy. This is awful. This is so awful. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try and run past the past the the friendly dudes. And I also need to send this lift up because this is gonna take a while. So, pairing, pairing might work eventually. I really want to let the first one pass. Oh boy. So, it seems that after a certain point, Kind of work. 
stop with the frenzy, please. Yes, thank you. So it seems that after a certain point, he goes and wakes up the other giant. So this is going to take the whole episode. I think this was solid. Hopefully. Was it? Yeah, it was. Okay, so now to how to parry. The timing on the parry is really really Heal. No. Get out of here. gonna get frenzied. Yep. That was a waste. Also, I think that the other one just falls down at some point. It's not that... Yeah, that was... Great. Oh my... Oh my god!
Okay, so this this second attack is actually not that hard. Very oh, no. Why? Why? And I mistimed my parry there. Also, that was... But I think I'm... I'll get it down. I feel like it's... I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm improving, actually. Oh, that was good. Alright. That was good. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. It would be great if I could parry. Oh, if I could not parry, but backstab. Right. There you go. My God. Ah, uh, this. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. So, grabbing. Not parable, not like that, at least. So I would say that this fight is probably harder than boss fights. Specifically because they are 
like all over me <laughs> they have a huge range they have huge range and i'm not very good at burying them but uh i would say that uh the fact that i can only run really slow to them because i have to wait up these guys it's not that bad actually What the hell are you doing? Okay. Great. And by great I mean not great at all. Awesome. Okay. Let's try to get it done this time. Go, buddy. Let's heal. Just for good measure, where is he? Over here. There you go. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Okay, so this is done. Raquio. Raquio. Okay, that was awful. But it's done. It took me 25 minutes, approximately, with the waiting. And I lost like 60,000 blood echoes, which sucks, but I don't much care. Let's check out the. Uh, what do I want to check out? The weapon, I think. Rakuyo. Launch a weapon wielded by Lady Maria Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. A trick sword originated in the same country as the Kanehurst Chikage. Only the sword feeds not of blood, but instead demands great dexterity. Lady Maria was fond of this aspect of Rakuyo as she frowned upon blood blades, despite being a distant relative of the Queen. Oh, the queen? I mean, Annalise? One day she abandoned her beloved Rakuyo, casting it into a dark well when she could, when she could stomach it no longer. Okay. Let's check it out. Also, looks... I cannot use right or polish. Oh, because blood thing, right? Okay, rifle spear. Same story. But this one I can use. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's the weapon that she had. Okay, that's fine. How about... Might be good. Wait a second. This is not what I wanted. Uh, let's have my soul spear back. And. Okay. So. Where does this go? Wait a 
Wait a second. Oh, okay. I know this place. Ah. This is where we fought the first shark, man. Um, not... Goodbye. Okay. Probably. Not a very good place to be. Oh, there is another one. But there is a lantern. And they... They... They fall. You know what? Oh, I didn't kill you. I did. There you go, buddy. All right. Ew. We are safely back. And... Do I care about you? Not really. Okay. I think this will be it for this episode. I will probably... Well, actually it won't be. It's not, it's not it for this episode. It's not it because I also found another thing that I want to show now. Let's return back. much did I lose? Oh, I have 200 and 300, that's, that's, that's very fine. It's alright. So, I'm not sure if I want to farm some, uh, some blood echoes, but... Oh no! That was the wrong... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cut it. Yep, this is where I wanted to go. The lighthouse. And there is a there is an NPC that I missed. And I think I notice it when notice him actually, so we're when I reloaded here, he, he screamed or something. Who are you? I'm afraid I've made a botch of things. Okay. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. I know him. Again. And again. It never ends. I see. Please. I need you to do something. This village is the true secret. Testament to the old sins. It feeds this... Hunter's nightmare. Please. Bring to an end the horror. So our forefathers sin. We hunters cannot bear their weight forever. It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. Simon's bow blade, underground cell, inner chamber key, and he's dead. So we got a new weapon. Simon's bow blade I can't use because of the blood tinge. Choice weapon of Simon of one of the first healing church hunters. Simon despised firearms, and so the church workshop had this specially fashioned to his liking. The large curved blades serve as a bow when transformed, but aside from a few close friends Sam was scoffed at for his choice of arms, for who would dare face the beast with a measly bow? Well, I don't know. 
But we got a key as well. And a really long key to the inner chamber of the cell below the Grand Cathedral. The innermost chamber of the underground cell holds a lone madman. He wears a beast hide and rings a bell that emits no sound. An ending death awaits those who can hear the sound. Oh, so that's him. And this is why I'm hearing the bell. Let's go there. Let's go there. I think I, I, I faced him four times already. Uh, I'm sure I can face him again. Uh, no, no, I think this, this was the this was the one. So we go this way and I need to remember that there were Oh great. So we get a hunter and churchman and you know what? I'm gonna his ass. But will he? Will he move? Did he despawn? Why cannot I? I can't target him. Oh! Can I not? Oh, he dispawned. Okay. There you go, buddy. Oh! Raydor's testimony. Oh, how about are you dead? Oh, he killed them. That's good. He killed them. Now, this is where his cell was, right? Yep. Is he there? Yep, he is, and he's a douchebag. And I hear the bell, definitely. Well, maybe let's let's get there. Well, well, look who's here. Welcome to my quarters. I've never entertained a guest before. Are you going to kill me? Probably yes. After all you've done, kill me. As no. To right your wrongs. No, I'm not going to do that to right my wrongs. I'm going to do that to right your wrongs. Well, actually, not right them, but oh, he is an enemy. What is it? Oh, I will leave off. And he's gone. <laughs> Nothing changes. Such is the nature of man. You douchebag. You're a murderer. That's why I do that. Can we be done? Blood letter. I wonder if this is that spiked uh, mace. Where is it? Okay, it's not up. Blood letter. I can't use it. Because it requires blood pinch. The demented hunter weapon brandished by Braidor, the healing church assassin. 
The blood letter assumes its true and terrifying form after it draws upon blood from the inner reaches of one's body and soul. This is the only effective means of expelling tainted, tainted blood or so Brader, isolated in his cell, continued to believe so. Not really. But we got some... Uh, some... Uh, some garbs. We got some garbs. Brader's testimony. The scalp of a horrible cleric beast, indicating that Hunter Brader, a healing church assassin, had killed a compa compatriot. Afterward, he wore his ally's own scalp and hid himself away deep below in a cell. Jerk provided him with a single soundless bell of death to ensure their secrets would be kept. Yep. That's nice. And beast hide guard, blooded hide of a horrible cleric beast pulled over the back. Without the attached beast hide, the foreign, this foreign garb wouldn't raise anyone's eyes, eyebrows. And the beast was hide while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on this, on this hide were from that day. It's great, but it has solid defense. I would say, blunt and physical generally. Solid defense. Blooded armbands, ready to run, blah blah blah. Yeah. Oh. E 30, 40, 30. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Possible, I think. Good. Blooded trousers. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, this is basically the same description, but trousers anyway i think this will be it for this episode so i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time bye